All right, so let's launch Ink Paint. Go to My Drawings, make a new document. And the first thing we want to do is import our background. I'll switch the mode to background. Go to Select, Saved Photos, pick the photo, and there it is. And now because I'm in background mode, I can just move this into position, sort of in the center of the drawing. Uh, next thing I want to do uh, is start inking it. So I'll switch to ink mode. And uh, switch the ink pen to the third size up, which gives me sort of a bold line, but not obnoxiously bold. I'm going to start with this shirt. The character here is wearing a turtleneck. So I'm zooming in, getting to a position where I can see a good portion of the shirt. And I just start applying the ink pen around the outside. If you don't like a line, you can undo. Try it again. And then I just proceed zooming in and tracing the lines. I'll go down, I'll do the lower body, same way. All right, now we'll go up and we'll do the head. Departing a little bit from my original pencil drawing here, but that's okay, I felt like this part of the head was a little too small anyway. Do the ear, and we'll go around and get the hair. Mm, that's a little flat. All right, we've got all the outlines done. Now we're going to go in and do, oops, except for the neck. I'm going to zoom way in to get the neck connected. There we go. And we can check our work by temporarily shutting off the ink layer. See how that looks. Oops, not the ink layer, shutting off the background. Looks pretty good. Turn the background back on, and let's go to a smaller pen now, and we'll do more of the details, like the ends of the sleeves, and the tops of the shoes, and then there's a lot of details in the face. in the pupils, the ink pen in this case. Don't quite like the way that ear came out. Let's try that again. And if the ink lines don't join up, you're going to have a problem with painting. So I zoom in and fix that when I notice it. All right, here we go. And where they cross, and I don't want them to, I can use the eraser tool. Oops, that was a bit much. Let's get a smaller eraser. There we go, that's perfect. Actually, we could use a little erasing over here, too. Alright, and we'll finish the lines in the hair. That's no good. And the eyebrows. Give them kind of a worried look here. And the style of cartoon is okay for the eyebrows to appear on top of the hair. Alright, let's just zoom back out and uh, check it with the background off. Oops. Yep, 
looks pretty good. I'm going to clean up by the ear here just a little bit with a small eraser. And I think we're pretty good now. Now it's time to paint. Well, before we do, I'm going to round out this pupil a little bit more too. There we go. All right, now let's paint. Switch to paint mode and select the color. And let's give him sort of a yellowish hair. And I don't want an airbrush since this is a retro style cartoon. I want a nice flat painting. So I'll switch to a solid brush, uh, the biggest one, so that I can fill very quickly. And if I've closed all my ink lines, then the painting will be constrained to the area that I start painting in. And then let's see, let's do the clothing next for the shirt. Uh, let's see, how about a nice red shirt? Not too bright. Uh oh, when this happens, it means that somewhere the ink lines aren't completely connecting up. So we'll just hit undo, zoom in. It's probably right there. Switch to ink mode and just make sure all our lines are connected. I think that probably is it. So let's switch back to paint mode. Yep, now it's working as expected. And for his pants, we'll go with a sort of grayish blue. Kind of a denim color. And then how about his shoes? Uh, we'll make his shoes red like his shirt. In fact, we could just pick the recent colors. Match his shirt exactly. All right. Now we need a skin tone. That'll do. Move down so we can see what we're doing. And there we go. It's done.